Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have another service call for an LG Multi-V system. We have a CH154 Aerosol. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jump Roman Tech. It is a nice freezing day out here in New York City. It's 20 degrees out. I just want to give you guys an idea of how we get up here because we have so many calls up here. We go through the door down there and we walk around all these steps. So imagine bringing all your equipment up here every time we do service calls or change the compressor. Anyways, we got a bunch of units up here, not just the one down this hallway got a lot of units we got the lg multi v3s here and we got the lg multi v4s here here's the unit that is our troublemaker here arrow code ch154 we need to see what that is but man is it cold out here uh it's a beautiful dirty city good money to make here but in the winter time it is not fun out here 20 degrees out to be working out in this with these difficult machines man it ain't too fun but it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't but i'm gonna be in florida in two weeks and i can't wait oh man let's see what 154 means all right so i'm using the lg hvac service dash business app error code ch54 excuse me 154 the error title is outdoor unit heat exchanger temperature sensor lower part fault cause of error the outdoor unit heat exchanger temperature sensor lower part is open or short seems pretty straightforward there's a little chart here i'm gonna try to get this information for you guys so it says is the sensor connection at to the pcb normal so pretty much you want to make sure that it's connected properly to the board these sensors would be connected to your external board it's called the external board i'll show you guys that in the video then it says here if it is connected properly you know you move on if it's not obviously connected the next step would be to check the resistance of the sensor if it's bad change the sensor all right Max is saying is the sensor resistance the same as the temperature on the LG MV tool so I guess the LG MV tool reads resistance I guess we can check if that matches up with our resistance reading so it's either the board or the sensor here pretty straightforward you can't screenshot anything on this app but I would do is I'm gonna try to take a picture with a different phone and send you all this information that's there so we're gonna check resistance of these sensors we're gonna check the voltage coming off the board we're gonna check to see if the connections all right we're gonna see whatever we can out here let's open up this uh, main cover and see what we got took off this one main panel it's right over there and we're gonna take off this one right here just so you guys get an idea of what we're doing here all right we got control boards on control boards stuff is no joke behind this panel we got more boards man it's crazy we got the converter board behind this is the inverter board and back here you got the fan board anyways our main focus here is gonna be over here this right here is our external board. Have a bunch of sensors and stuff like that. Power is on, you gotta be careful. But over here, you see this little black plug right here under the purple? That's gonna be the sensor that were, that's bad. And there's actually, there's three thermistors there. 
can see real quick. Is it plugged in? It seems plugged in. So that's not the case. It probably went bad. Alright, so I'm looking right here. CH154, right? So it shows that there's three thermistors here. DIS C2. Oh, come on. DIS C2, SCN, and Hex L. Just like the one to the left here, you know, has the SUC, Hex, and this C1, like the purple one that's three thermistors. I only see two sets of wires on this thermistor. Is that right? Something get disconnected? I don't know. We gotta take a further look. I don't know. Just turned off the disconnect. I want to give it a few minutes for this thing to power down. Let's see. Can I get my needle nose in there? Right there. That's it. So here, you guys can see. I'm trying to take a picture, but there's two sets of two wires. And you know what's weird is like to the left of it, it shows dish DIS C2. SCN and then hex one that that to me is telling me there's three thermistors there Hold up a second man, we gotta look around I think <laughs> that thing would break off somewhere. I mean you would see it there Should be a third set of cables from what it shows there. I mean that's only that makes sense it says it, but I think because they use this same board for different units. This unit only has one compressor. I think that DIS, that's got, because I know DIS-1 on that sensor is right in here, which is your discharge line. It says C1, so there's, it's only one compressor. That's what's going on. So there's only two thermistors in this unit as far as this plug. So what does it say? So what we got, uh, SCN and then HEX. So, got these little probes here, and you would pretty much check resistance, and it would change based on the temperature. Right, so we got the hex L, and that seems to be the one that's giving us the issue. The two on the corner here. The other one is SC. I don't know what that is. Subcool it? I don't know. But then, discharge, right? So in, in the app they showed there's three different type of resistance readings. There's a 5 kilo ohm thermistor, 10 kilo ohm thermistor, and a 200 kilo ohm thermistor. Kind of got to see what it is. There's a pipe thermistor chart, which I'm assuming is for this. That's bad. Then there's a D pipe. I'm assuming that's a discharge. And the other one it will be air. I don't know, that's the charge they give us. Let's let's check resistance readings and see what we got. It's currently 22 degrees Fahrenheit here. You see it says pipe tap, air tap, deep pipe tap. I think it's gonna be the pipe tap. It's not the discharge. I think that's what D is for. So fortunately this is in Celsius, so uh, 22 degrees Fahrenheit it's about negative 5 uh, Celsius so we're looking at a resistance of let's see we're looking at a resistance at 22.2 kilo ohms and you will get a 3.91 volt reading that should be DC on those two so let's check it now I got the power off let's check for resistance got these little micro leads so I'm gonna put my meter on oh we're gonna read resistance via ohms and I believe it is this these two on the edge and look at that 22.6 kilo ohms we're talking about we we're supposed to read about 22.2 you know give or take you know we're close to that temperature Wow do we have anything on the next one?
Next one, 22.2 kilo ohms. That's the middle one, and that will be our SCN. Let's see. All right, so I just traced down one of the thermistors, and the one for the hex. What does it say? H-E-X-L, heat exchanger, lower. I just traced it, it's here. This guy right here, and it says 5K, so it's a five kilo ohm thermistor. Okay, so that's that, and we're reading a decent thing. Oh, look, it went over here, SCN. I think that's the same one. Let's trace that one back, make sure it goes to this plug. But that says 5K, so if we're reading the same resistance, then these, this sensor is actually good. Oh, look at that. There's a peanut. There's a peanut inside here. Who's eating peanuts and troubleshooting here, man? <laughs> peanuts, man. What the heck? All right, so I just traced out this wire, and this is the SCN. And it is a 5K thermistor. SCN. What does it say here? just says 5k down but they're both five kilo ohm thermistors and they're reading the same thing and that matches up with the chart these thermistors are good can't really tell but inside here see if i can maybe get a picture but it looks a little bit corroded in here maybe it's not reading it so in that case it could be bad it might just it might just not be reading which problem in itself it would act like a bad thermistor all right i'm going to turn the power back on according to the chart you should be reading 3.91 volts dc so when you check resistance you want the power off and the and the thermistor assembly unplugged that's how you check the way we did it when you're checking voltage it says he wants it plugged in Let's see, the system is resetting, trying to go. Let's see what kind of voltage we got. Let's see if it's, might need a minute to like get itself together. But basically those same two wires that we checked, uh, those same two wires that we checked volt, uh, resistance, we're gonna check it for DC voltage. So the top two, let's see. See. Let's see, do we get something? DC zero. What about what about underneath? 3.9 volts DC. But goes into that air cool right away. It doesn't even it notices it. 3.9 volts DC. And what do we have on the other one? Nothing? Guys, we need to be sure with this. This is a bad board. Let's be sure here. Let's check in the other one again. 3.8 volts DC. Okay. Just gonna do the same thing on this one. I can see that's got a connection. That got a connection. Zero volts DC. Zero volts DC. It's not be a bad board here. Man, I had to go inside. I was freaking freezing. Sensor resistance table it shows that at negative five degrees Celsius, which is about 22 degrees Fahrenheit, you're gonna get a 22 kilo ohm resistance, which we got. And the voltage should be 3.91. That's literally what we got, 3.8, 3.9. Wow air temp you would get the same voltage reading and d temp you would get a 4.6 4.6 dc volts so you got to get volts regardless regardless what thermistor it is but i'm assuming it should be the same voltage as the other one that they're both the same thermistor wow so that board is not producing Okay, so last thing I want to check here, you see I got this tool right here connected to our main board. This is the LG MV tool, mobile LG MV tool. 
Okay, so lower hex, you got 302 degrees. And that's the one you're not getting voltage on. Then it says SC in temp, about 18 degrees, right? Kind of close, maybe the pipe makes it a little colder. That's the one we are getting voltage on. Uh, but thing is, you know, we got the same resistance between the both, but one is not getting voltage, so it's really a bad board. But in this case, the best thing they can do for the future is change this board along with that thermistor assembly. Uh, and it just is what it is here. That's the best we can do. And it looks like the unit doesn't even try to start without this. CH-154. Sorry, my friend. It is what it is. <laughs> but eight rooms, eight hotel rooms, no heat. And it is what it is. But this is how you would, che this is how you would check this. And we're pretty much going to wrap this one up here. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.